Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this topographical effect in Adobe Illustrator. It's super easy to do. We're going to be using the blend tool, the curvature tool, and that's it. So let's get started. Let's begin with an artboard that's 1920 by 1080 pixels. And we're going to start by drawing a background. The background I chose is kind of this purple color, so I'm going to press M and click and hold and draw a rectangle across the entire artboard. Okay, then select that rectangle, go to object, lock, selection. So now it's locked in place. Then I'm going to use this golden color right here for my stroke. And we're going to be using the curvature tool. You can find it right here. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to create the top of our shape. So I'm going to click and drag and it's going to make these little kind of curved circles, which is pretty darn cool like that. Okay. And then I'm going to make another one up here. Might adjust these after the fact, kind of a little bit of a bend like that. And then I'm going to create one more over here. This one's going to be a bit more gradual like that. Okay, good. Now I'm going to create the outside shape of this. So again, using the curvature tool, go about this far or so like that, make your click and kind of draw a circular shape around your shape right here like that. Okay, we're going to do the same right here. I'm going to click right here. Drag this shape, make it go out and then connect to here and same over here. I'm going to start right over here. It's going to be a bit farther out like that to that. OK, cool. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to object, blend and blend options. If we click on that, we're going to choose right here. It's probably going to be on smooth color for you. Switch it to specified steps and choose about 20 steps for a shape this big. It's a good compromise. OK, and press OK. Good. Now select both of these objects like this. Go to object, blend and make. And now what it does, it creates 20 lines between this point and this point. And we can do the same for right here. Click on this. Go to object, blend, make. And same here. Object, blend, make. OK, cool. So these have actually kind of worked out. I'm going to make this a tiny bit bigger like this by stretching out. But what we see here is we have kind of like this little kink in the side and you have this overlap. You want to completely avoid that. So we can adjust our base shape. And we can do that by clicking on it right here, double clicking on it. You'll get into isolation mode and clicking on it once more. And now you see we've selected the shape because these aren't actually shapes yet. We have to expand them in order to select them. So we're going to go into a curvature tool, click on that. And now we have our points and we can just readjust it until we don't get those little kinks up there like that. So I'm going to pull that out like that. And we can also add points by pressing by just giving a click right there. And something like that. I'm going to pull that in like that and just adjust it so there's no points that are kind of overlapping themselves. OK, now, additionally, I think it's a little big right here, so I can click on it, double click and click on it once more. So now it's selected and hold shift and I can make it just a bit smaller like that. OK, so it's just a small area I'm not going to do the same move up here. I'm going to select this, double click, one more click and then hold shift as I make it a bit smaller like that. OK. And this shape is way too big up here. So I'm going to double click on that, click once more and then make it smaller. So that's kind of like the top of the mountain. OK, now I'm going to move these shapes around a bit. I'm going to stretch this out. So that kind of pinches into itself right there. Same deal with here I'm going to stretch it out like this. And this I'm going to stretch out like. Like that. OK, now we're going to play with these shapes. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to be editing the outside of this line right here. Click on it, double click and once more. OK, now go into your curvature tool and you'll see that we have our original points. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding points and pulling them in and out. So I'll show you. I'm going to click add a point right here and I'm going to pull it in. OK, so it gives this kind of effect that you have a ridge line right here and then you have like a trough in here. And we're just going to do this all over our shape. You got to make sure that it doesn't bunch up in some places. So you're going to have to work on it dynamically. 
But this is how you kind of get a much more interesting shape. So now it looks like you have the, these little ridges and this is actually pointing up towards a mountain. Okay, so I'm a bit happier with that on this one. I'm gonna do the same right over here. So click, double click, click once more, go into the curvature tool and let's start adding points. Like that, point that out, point this in. At this point, we're gonna move a bit like that. That one like that. So adjust this just so it looks a bit more interesting. So it doesn't look like you just drew a circle around the lines like that. All right, this we can pull out a bit more. So it really looks like it's flowing down the hill like that. Same with this one right here. Make this point kind of stitch out and pull that back like that. And just make sure you don't have any spots that are kind of overlapping. That's that's the, really the thing that you want to want to avoid because I'll kind of break the effect. But that's okay. Now to show you a really cool trick, you know how this is kind of annoying seeing all these lines outside of your artboard? Well, all you have to do if you're using the latest version of Illustrator is go to view and then you'll see this option right here called trim view. Click on that and boom, it's gone. Isn't that fantastic? So we're gonna also play with this shape and to get it back, all you go is view, trim view, click on it and it's back. So again, I'm gonna adjust this shape. I'm gonna double click on it, click on it right here, go to curvature tool and keep adding points. Now, obviously those points were quite big. And what I'm gonna do is I'm kinda of gonna simulate the effect or the impression that there's a river running through these points right here, okay? So make this quite narrow right here. This I'm gonna stretch out to here. That I'm gonna pull out till it goes to there. So it looks like there's a river winding through these points like that. Kinda of looks more interesting if we do that. Now again, you have to play with the shape so that it works for you and that it doesn't overlap. But essentially, this is kind of what we want. Okay, so again, let's go to view, trim view. That looks, yeah, that looks a lot more interesting. Now to add a couple little points, we go to trim view, turn on again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of our shapes like this and go to object, blend and expand. Okay, then we're gonna click on any of the objects, right click, go ungroup, this one right click ungroup and this one right click ungroup because now every single one of these lines is an individual object. See, I can move it like that, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna select a few of these objects, this one, this one, this one, close to the top and usually the top one press I and we're just going to give them a kind of yellowish color, a light yellowish color. Once you've done that, you can select that object, press I and hold alt and just apply this to other objects across the map like that. Okay. Just like this. And this just adds a bit more interest to your object. Of course, it can be dying as it comes down. It doesn't show up as often. Like that. Okay. And then I'm also gonna add this kind of blue coloration right here. Again, pressing I, holding Alt. And I'm gonna add it just a couple little accent lines as we get down to the bottom like that. Tuck, tuck. You can also do the most outward lines, but I like to keep it separate. Just about two lines or something like that just adds a kind of a bit more interesting little effect. It's pretty simple to do. Okay, having done that, we can go to view, trim view, and look at our shape. Looks pretty darn awesome actually, if you zoom out. And that's really all there is to it. So we can select our entire shape and we can move it a tiny bit, just so we have a bit more depth. The same thing over here. It's a bit kind of windy river like that, but you get the impression. And that's all there is to it, awesome. Now, if you want to export this, actually, I don't know off the top of my head if view, trim view, 
most likely you're still gonna have those lines that stick out when you export this. So we'll press M, click up here, bring it down to here, and we're gonna create a clipping mask like this. So once you've drawn that box, don't worry, you won't see anything. Click on it, right click, make clipping mask. And now if you export it, you're gonna get this exact image, just like that. So, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Hope you learned something new and get to try this out. Play around with the colors, play around with the effects, the amount of blending that you have to do. Um, if you have any questions, write them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please let us know. Like, subscribe, and of course, as always, have a great day.